What more can be said about No Man's Sky? It had all the hype and some lies from Sean Murray, and the final product was the most mediocre, poorly designed, and shallow experiences I've ever played. Gamers were promised the most legendary sandwich, and Murray came out with two pieces of bread with some lettuce in between. At this point, anything I say is just beating a dead horse, or whatever this RNG monstrosity is. But hitting stuff is quite cathartic, and I'm doing the con of a pro-con collaboration with Skip2Game. Hi new people, so let's get started. Quick disclaimer, I only played No Man's Sky for about two hours. I just left my starting planet, and around the time the game asked me to gather more materials for my warp drive, I was 100% certain I'd rather be playing anything else. Granted, I might have had a better time if one of the necessary materials I needed wasn't a 40 fucking minute hike from my ship and back, but it was quite clear No Man's Sky committed the most unforgiving of gaming sins. Being mind-numbingly boring. It's the equivalent of Virtual Ambient. If I need to put on some music to keep me conscious enough to continue, I'm usually driving, but No Man's Sky essentially begs for it, especially with the uninteresting, hollow music. The beginning of any game is when developers want to showcase their game at its best to hook the player. Every artistic medium does this, but video games have the unique perk of also being able to grab your attention with their gameplay, even if the story can't quite cut it. And there's nothing close to an interesting plot or game in No Man's Sky. It just has a kind of cool concept. All you see in this game is space, which is defined as having practically nothing in it, and the procedurally generated random planets that are so bland they couldn't even compete with a goddamn hiking trail. Environments are so sparse that a player can't even be intrigued with what could be out there. Which is kinda like space when you think about it. But personally, I'll take tight level design over randomly generated rocks any day. The trick to making a game procedurally generated is making the core mechanics enjoyable and interesting with enough challenge to motivate players to bring out their best. Because chances are, this experience is uniquely your own and you won't get a second chance. And what does No Man's Sky have gameplay wise? Hardly jack shit. It's a standard resource gathering survival game and brings nothing innovative to the table. The game is centered around acquiring materials for fuel, health, and building stuff that can help you gather materials faster. It's an endless cycle for both the story and game. There is never a satisfying sense of accomplishment because nothing ever ends. And this endless flow is constantly paused by the garbage inventory system. The most pitiful, basic inventory system I've ever seen. It fills up every five minutes because you're, you know, gathering resources. It prevents you from even properly spacing out because you're always clearing out your inventory and refilling all your meters of fuel, shield, health, etc. It's about as much fun as doing chores, but in the game's defense, I've never been the biggest fan of standalone survival crafting games. I generally like something to come with them, like horror, or a story, or a multiplayer, because surviving for the sake of surviving isn't a game. It's basically real life. But there is combat in No Man's Sky, and it's really boring too. During my brief playthrough, I encountered some not-so-friendly robots, and even less friendly shooting mechanics. Pointing and holding fire does not make for a fun time. It transforms the action into boredom, because it's not like shooting should be fast and break up the monotonous pace of resource gathering. Wait, I think I got that backwards. Again, I'm not a fan of basic survival games, so I never felt the outrageous amount of hype that everyone else did. And I'm also not one of those people who thinks it'd be worth a buy if it was only $20. Because it still thinks it can get away with a $60 price tag on Steam for some reason! Games should always be about the quality of your time over the price of what you're getting. Why waste 40 hours on a mediocre game when you could be playing one of the countless better games waiting to be played? I wouldn't buy this game for 50 cents because it lacks any resemblance of fun. Now, the game is getting better. Hello Games has added base building and whatnot, but when your game is this boring, it's like adding more vegetables to the lettuce sandwich that is No Man's Sky. And fuck that, give me some meat, but until then, Fuck No Man's Sky. Whoa, 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 wait a minute. Man, you really tore this game a new one, didn't you? Jeez, you know, it's really not that bad if you just sort of look at it from a different perspective. And you can get that different perspective on my video that I just released.
That's uh, that's what you call a, a segue, ladies and gentlemen. So yeah, you can just jump on over to my video, you know, get a little different perspective on No Man's Sky and see that it's probably not as bad as you think. And also, while you're at it, you can just kind of scroll on down to the big red button beneath this guy's video and subscribe to his channel. He's a pretty good guy. You probably want to subscribe to it.